At Farm Bureau Financial Services, we'll help you bundle your auto and home coverage, saving you money and time. Find us at fbfs.com slash protect. It's your future. Let's protect it. Farm Bureau Property and Casualty Insurance Company, Western Agricultural Insurance Company. With lucky landslots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to... Has anyone seen the bride and groom? Sorry, sorry, we're here. We were getting lucky in the limo and we lost track of time. No, Lucky Land Casino, with cash prizes that add up quicker than a guest registry. In that case, I pronounce you lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandSlots.com. Daily bonuses are waiting. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to Bad Ideas. It's like Shark Tank, but instead of ideas born from hard work and planning, it is likely a terrible idea. But occasionally, a good idea manages to sneak its way in, despite our best efforts. This is Bad Ideas. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Bad Ideas, the show that is guaranteed you, you'll probably like, what, 50% of the ideas that we pr- propose? I mean, what, 50, 40%, something like that sound about right? Half of the title is ideas. So yeah, about 50% probably. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, <laughs> but basically we have ideas that are not great. Sometimes they are great, but usually the execution of them are not great. But we're here to give you those ideas because one of them, I'm sure one of them eventually, just by the law of averages, is going to make you a million dollars. This is like Shark Tank. We're going to propose some ideas to you. They're competing ideas in the same category. And we're going to decide at the end which one is the best of the bad ideas. And last week, I believe you won... And yeah. so that means I'm going first. And the category for today is theater, uh, a play, um, Broadway, a, a play or Broadway idea, right? Yeah, an idea okay. for uh, something that could be on Broadway. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here we go. So here's my idea. Now, most Broadway experiences are the same. You go to a play, you bought your tickets, you know, what feels like five months out for a popular show. You waited forever. You had to pay, you know, $5,000 for a damn ticket. Mm-hmm. And then you go there and you, and you sit there in the audience and you stare at the stage while something happens, right? I mean, for the most part, that's, that sums up the, the, the total Broadway experience. But what if, what if we could change it and create it more of a personalized experience? So here's my idea, a stage show based on one member of the audience. Now, this is kind of a, this is your life kind of a a moment. So you buy the tickets way ahead of time, right? Five months, six months, whatever. You have to, as part of buying your tickets, submit a brief history of your life story, a little bit of a background, a little bit of where you lived and who you've interacted with, some names. You are submitting this and you don't know what they're going to pick, but on the day of the show, when you show up, they're going to be reenacting parts of your life based on stories that they've done and research they've done and it's going to be your life enacted on a Broadway stage. So this is something they're they're only going to do like one performance a week, and you're going to have to submit it. So let's say it's a four months out, five months out, however long it takes them to prep. You're going to have to have some actors that have some improv experience because obviously it can't be a hundred percent scripted. They'll have some something scripted from your life and names and places, but they're going to be recreating moments in your life that you submitted based on what how they think it went. So think about it. You're going to have this experience of seeing potentially parts of your life and you're going to be the one and you won't know it until the curtain goes up. So the curtain goes up and they're going to go tonight. We explore the life of Chris Donovan. And, and it's going to be, you're going to be like, Oh my God, they picked me. And they're going to, the audience is going to clap and they're going to be like, Oh my God. And then they're going to watch this play. And there's going to be comedic moments. So there's going to be uh, 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 dramatic moments and death and birth and all this kind of stuff. And you won't know. And the draw is going to be People are going to pay money because in the in the hopes, like a lottery ticket, that theirs is one of the ones that is picked. And if your life is interesting and, and unique, the odds of it getting picked is, is more likely. So um, you're going to have interesting stories, a constantly changing. So people are going to see the show multiple times because they might go one time and then when they go a month later, it's a totally different show. Um, you're not going to need a lot of pro this will have to be, uh, extensively planned out because you'll oh, yeah. have to, uh, know, you know, uh, have props ready to go and, and locations and names and someone, you'll have to have a really crack research team that can, that can do some basic research and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, but how cool will it be to be able to sit out in the audience and go, Oh my God, that's me. They, they chose mine and, and whatever. And you might have people that really want theirs to be done. And so they buy tickets for every performance in the hopes that one day theirs gets picked. And you could even then um, uh, sell to, to the person you offer them um, 
uh, that they can make a purchase of the video of the performance for a pretty high sum, like, Hey, for, you know, $3,000, you can buy. Cause think of how many people would be like, Oh yeah, my life story was enacted as a Broadway play. Right. Um, and they pay for it. Um, and you could then, so wait a minute. So, so that's part one, part oh, two there's of this. More. Oh, but there's more part two is part of submitting all your information we now have your information. How many companies would really like to know all this information? You could sell the data that you collect. You make them sign a waiver saying, we have the right to use this data that you have submitted voluntarily for any purpose, blah, blah, blah. And you then go, oh, Amazon, you would like to know all about this person's uh, love, love, you know, whatever, whatever. You could sell that information. So that's how you make even more money off of this. Wow. Pocket that. So that is my idea for revolutionizing broadway what so what, what's the name of it do you have a name for it the name for it is this is your life but the picture is um like a blank face with a question mark in it like we uh, don't know whose life it's going to be that's fun i like it uh, I, I, practicality of it all it's a lot of work a lot of like a lot of work a lot of leg work. <laughs> like you gotta have work. a private investigator you probably have to have access to police files <laughs> here's here's uh, i'm just gonna punch some holes in it real quick mm -hmm. what if Let's say they go, all right, this is about Monique Lackey. All right, yeah, oh my God, Monique, the picture is so great, okay, yeah. cool. All right, okay, yeah, okay, first, uh, she met her husband back in 1925 or whatever it is, you know? Oh, where they get later, wrong. Three years later, they get married, but what Eric doesn't know <gasps> is that she cheated on him a oh, year no. before they got married with his sister <laughs> you know like what is something like that <laughs> <clears throat> okay so that is a good point and i did think about it as what happens if they're enacting a part of your life and they get it totally wrong yeah. are you able to sue them and no because they point out at the beginning that while this is this is your life parts parts of the story have been dramatic dramatized for effect you know like you you point that out at the beginning that um that way you have plausible deniability of hey if something's wrong we did say at the beginning that some of these stories have been dramatized a little bit to make it more palatable for a stage show or whatever. So that if they say something like that, you say, oh, well, you know, that was just because we were pumping it up uh, uh, to, to be more, um, uh, uh, more, have it be a more interesting storyline. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I think you could get away with that a little bit, but then there'd be a lot of divorces probably happening. if, uh, <laughs> if Maybe you don't point out the I cheated on my husband part, but uh, yeah, the, the uh, but, but wouldn't that be interesting? Yeah. Or, uh, or you know what, you could even say, well, we know where you're going to sit because you bought the tickets, all these stuff. So when it says, this is your life, uh, the whole audience is dark and a spotlight just goes boom and it's on you and you're like oh, holy crap it's me they chose me and now the whole audience so now as things are happening on the stage like and this in this next scene this is where eric steals 50 dollars worth of chlorine from the store <laughs> <laughs> and, and then people just turn and look at me and go mm, for shame and they just they're judging you and then maybe there's a time where you rescued a small child and 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 you, you did something heroic and they just look at you and there's tears in their eyes and like you're a, you're a hero i'm gonna buy you a drink in the after party and then you, you know, look at him and you're like no this is the part they lied about <laughs> yeah this is the part they lied about what they don't know is i was trying to kill that kid uh but i just i yeah i just it's a way of revolutionizing the broadway play yeah no i like it uh with the way technology works it's not too far-fetched if you mm -hmm. have the money to back it up and it was successful uh the only thing is is it would have to be uh, pretty pricey to get people in there because uh you know if you're doing one show a week those shows are planned six months out that's that's a lot of legwork, but I do like the idea because I would totally go a couple times to see if they pick me and be like, and you do a short run, right? You, you say, Hey, listen, this show, uh, this show is on for two months. So we do eight shows. Uh, uh, you know, maybe we do, maybe we do, uh, yeah, we do eight shows. You make them very expensive. So they pre book up in advance. And every six months, you do a new eight shows, like a, like a TV season. And uh, uh, that gives you plenty of time to do the investigating and writing the quick scripts and stuff like that and, and making sure you have all the props in place that you need. And, all. and they can even throw in things like, and then he went to this high school. And it's like they have the logo from the high school you went to up on the, you know, there, I think there'd be a lot of cool um i think there's a lot of cool ways to do it so that's my idea i like it i like it i think it's a really good idea what is your idea okay so something that's very topical as of late we've all lived through all we all lived through it it's uh it was a, a really weird time for everyone nobody knew what was going on lots of screens lots of people talking to different people through cameras and um you know all sorts of different ways to discuss but what would be better 
than Quarantine the Musical. Now, think about it. Very simple, simple setup. It's just a desk with a fake window as if it was a computer and you're looking at the person from the audience as if you were the computer looking back at them and then like behind them like there's a Zoom talk and everybody's talking about Zoom, but it's a musical. So everybody's singing on the Zoom and every so often, maybe it's just one person that zooms into their camera and then maybe it backs out a little bit to show them in a room dancing or something with their camera on. Or while that's going on, what's happening over here? Oh, Jeff's taking a shit and didn't turn his camera off. What an idiot. Like what is going on with this guy? So like you're poking, you're you're poking fun at all of the weird shit that happened during, during quarantine. COVID, during yeah, quarantine. during quarantine. So it'd be quarantine Those first the few months. months. Yeah, it would be like we're locked inside, but we can't go out now. I don't know. I'm just thinking of stuff. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, and then of course the really sad song that takes place right in the middle, the bridge part, where it's toilet paper. Where are you? I can't find you when I need you. Toilet paper. You know, that that's a sad song I know that takes place right in the middle. One of the one of the big hits is Instacart. <laughs> Instacart. Oh, and you get sponsors yeah. for the people that you're mentioning. Instacart, you stole my heart when you brought me all that shit paper. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> So quarantine yes. musical, I didn't do a whole and lot. Who of could ever forget? Uh, the the who could ever forget that really popular song, uh, having sex in the other room, and hopefully the kids don't hear. Oh yeah, yeah. How's that one go again? Um, she wouldn't take her socks off, and I still wore my shirt. Not on my shirt. <laughs> I pumped her really good and then I let out a squirt and said, hope the kids don't hear what we're doing in here. Yeah, that, 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 that was, it, it made me cry. That was a, it was a sad one. Yeah, no, I, I like the finale though. That was, um, that was, um, uh, we had to return the dog, but now we're pregnant. <laughs> it was a big surprise because you thought all along that which one were they going to keep? And yeah, like the dog was going to be their lifelong child. But now since they are pregnant due to COVID and being locked inside, they had to get rid of the dog. You know, and then, then when the curtain drops and everyone comes out for the encore and they all sing the song, um, please get my kids out of here. I'm going insane um, is a good like end uh, uh, part of the musical. So I, I really like that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially since that whole that whole distance teaching hook in there that's really good where it's like i taught them all year they didn't win they didn't learn shit stuff like that it's a kind of a country song it's, it's yeah i like it i like it I, the only hole i have to poke on it because i do think that's fun and i think that's funny uh the only hole i would poke in it is by the time you put this together and get it out there people are going to be sick of hearing about coronavirus and COVID. i have a feeling people are going to not want anything to do with this period of time like ever again the, unless of course i mean if you do make it full-on comedy i think people will want to look back and laugh at it but if it gets too serious i think you're gonna have a lot of people going "Ugh, we already dealt with that i'm done yeah it won't be serious i'm in charge you know that yeah right <laughs> <laughs> exactly there's not a chance it will be there's not um, yeah, quarantine the musical uh it will do well if we can get that out fast if you, yeah, it has to be done real quick. Yeah. Okay, right. so we got we got our two ideas, and now it comes time where we decide which is the best of the bad ideas, whether we're rating it on most revolutionary or, or one that would make the most money or one that's just not a horrible idea because sometimes we do two horrible ideas. We just got to pick the cream of the crap. In this particular case... I would have to say that your This Is Your Life show would be a better fit for Broadway, and uh, it would work out awesome if 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 you could put all the effort and money into it i think yeah. yours is a better idea i agree i will say that yours would be easier to do mm -hmm. but i think mine would be something that you could do year after year after year after year like you could you could kind of have this be a running show that like like seasons of a tv show where it's always going on because think about it people are narcissists and they always want to see themselves True. so you could always do it and you could have a new cast of characters but if you do quarantine the musical you can't do it in 2024 like people well, we can. Be like it depends on how pissed off china is at us and they want us to have it yeah they all want us to die so <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and take my right. victory i'm gonna enjoy yeah. it and that means i get to pick next week's episode a topic I'm going to pick a job, a job that wow. you would create that needs to be created. And why doesn't this job exist? Okay. A job, job, a job or a service that someone does job. that, you know, for other people, whatever. Like you would like, okay, I have a new company. I'm hiring this person to do this because or, nobody else has, and it should have been picked. 
or you know on one of our on our other podcast where we discuss the guy who goes to funerals and oh, yes. um uh like tells people all the bad news that they've always wanted to hear but they wait, waited till they were dead like that is like the ultimate job like so something like that like here is a job that why doesn't this exist kind of a thing I like it. I'm ready. All right. We'll get to it next episode. Go to thisisfunner.com. Check out all the other online uh, content and podcasts that we do. And um, thank you for listening. All right, everybody. Have a good week. Were they good or bad? Either way, if you like them, take them. But at least give us the credit. And a kickback. Thanks for listening to Bad Ideas. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the show. And please tell a friend about it. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Chumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to Chumbacasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.